beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful dm to df reading i'm going to be using the silence deck today for this reading from beautiful Liz from guided by angels so you could be experiencing silence right now so this message is i know is very important to you there's no contact and you're not sure what's going on so let's see what it is that's happening right now in this silence what's going on with your divine masculine why is it they're not communicating to you? What is it they want you to know as well? How is it they're feeling? So there's lots of things that I'm asking for this reading today to come through. So what is it that's going to come through? What your divine masculine wants to share and what they're going through and why they're silent as well so let's see nice clear message please i'm not ignoring you i'm working out what to say <laughs> so that was quite you know assertive i'm not ignoring you i'm working out what to say so don't be offended don't take it personally just be patient with me and again if your divine masking is ignoring you divine feminines that is something for you to take a look at yourself of where you're ignoring yourself because this physical person has come into your life, your divine masculine, to show you, <laughs> reflect back to you what's going on within you. So if they're ignoring you, if they're not speaking to you, it's showing you something. So you are my future, even if I have said otherwise. Yes, the truth is, you know, they want to speak to you about this future. They're putting their words together, so they're not ignoring you. So don't you know, be upset by this and know that what you've got to take from it is if they're silent, it's, it's because you're still clearing, you're still being pushed to have this deep up relationship with yourself, to give to yourself. And when you're actually doing that, you're giving to your divine masculine and then your divine masculine does the same because it filters through because you are the positive polarity, the spiritual leader. And then they don't ignore you when you're not ignoring yourself. But you are my future. And even if I've told you otherwise, you know, I know that I'm going to be with you. I look at your pictures to feel close to you. So that's what they're doing in this silence, even though if it seems to you as if they've abandoned you and they're getting on with their life and they're being very cold they they look at pictures to feel close to you to feel this warmth from you um so they are getting their words together as well which is amazing please trust that i will find the way yeah so in this time of silence you're being pushed to trust your intuition to trust that your divine masculine is capable of coming towards you to have this future and your true self when you're being the unconditional love that you are you know that your divine masculine will find their way because you're finding your way <laughs> you've got to get out of that you know having that vision um the story that you have in your head about what's happened before to do with your divine masculine see your divine masculine as your divine masculine the truth and know that they're going to find their way and all you've got to do if you find it really hard to trust the physical person because of what's happened you can't get that out of your head is to trust the love that you have within you that knowing that you have about this physical person and know that this physical person has come into your life to show you where you're ignoring yourself, where you've been abandoning yourself, where you've been rejecting yourself. To heal that part of you, for you to give this unconditional love to yourself because you have been depriving yourself from love. You've had your heart blocked. And that's why it's so harsh by what the response that you get sometimes from the divine musk men. And when you first come together, you do have this soul recognition and it's amazing. You feel alive. You feel how you're meant to feel. Your natural being of joy, happiness, feeling alive, excited about life. And then that, then we come away from that. And that's when we have to work through these layers of program and conditioning that's taken us away from that feeling. 
we have to allow the ego, the pain body to fall away and to find balance with ourselves and the ego. I want to reach out and tell you how I feel when I'm putting my words together. So I'm not ignoring you. I know our future is going to be amazing. I know that we're meant to be with each other. So trust me that I'm finding my way back to you. But I'm finding myself. I'm learning about myself. And that's what you're doing, Divine Feminines. And they're looking at the pictures to help them in this preparation to feel close to you. So let's see what comes through with the secrets. <laughs> that was quite harsh, this message. But I feel that somebody needs to hear this <laughs> for this reading. Because you could be getting your knickers in a twist or your boxer shorts in a twist because they're ignoring you. Because they're, they're, nothing's happening and it's, it's just your ego kicking off. When you're trusting yourself, trusting the love, and you're trusting God that you know why this person's come into your life to wake you up to the greatest law of all, that's when you you, you feel peace. They are, our preparation is coming to an end. Those four flipped, flipped on the um, floor. When I go out into nature, I can clear them and manage the chatter in my head so much better. I'm learning balance with my ego and my higher self. You can't make it up, guys. <laughs> Um, I am always thinking about how special it's going to be when we make a sacred love. So, th you know, they want to come back and make love, sacred love to you. They're putting their words together. They know that this is coming to an end. They want you to know it's coming to get an end. And when you're in your truth, I feel that you know, you know this. You can feel it yourself because of what's going on within you and your, on your journey and this relationship with God. Trust that. Even if they are ignoring you still. Trust that so much is happening. Rise above what's right in front of you in the physical right now. See the bigger picture. See through the pain. See through the illusions and trust that love within you. And see through the eyes of love. Know that everything that's happening is all part of you coming into union. Physical union. You've got to create this inner union first. And that's what you're both doing. I'm learning to balance, yeah. This is so important with higher self and ego. And to be able to manage the ego, they go out into nature to stop this chatter in their heads and they fantasise about, you know, and have these visualisations, these previews of what it's going to be like to make sacred love to you. And sacred love making isn't just about the physical act. It's about just being in the same room as you. <laughs> That's making love. Being in this vibration of truth of unconditional love you being in the same room with each other you don't have to say anything you don't have to do anything that is enough there are no words that can explain that feeling and they want to be able to touch you they want to be able to make sacred love to you the physical act as well because we because you're both open <laughs> you, you're you're ready for this beautiful love making now <laughs> so they're feeling the sacred love making energy because you're open both of you are open to allowing yourself to feel because of the clearing that you've done it's so pure what you're feeling it's so different to what you've ever experienced before when you're experiencing this sacred sexual energy it's pure it's true <laughs> Because it's, you're not in a distorted place anymore. Your outlook isn't distorted. You haven't got that within you anymore. So I really do hope that this message resonates and helps you understand what's going on in this silence, which you know what's going on in this silence. It's just the ego that gets in the way at times and brings this doubt and fear in. Um, and it's, it, you know, it makes you feel distressed you think nothing is happening so much is happening and you could be really experiencing this sacred love making energy at the moment divine feminines as well so have an amazing rest of the day or evening wherever you are whatever time it is in the world and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow and i'm sending you all so much love my support my strength and light and i love you all so very much see ya Your soul saying, Oh.